Hi, I'm Shravan Tatipala, and today I'm joined with Professor Gaetano Kashini, who has chaired the conference conference session Robust Design. Welcome. Thank you, and happy to meet you. Great. Uh, I have a few questions that I would like to ask you. Uh, starting off, uh, the, the the session that you chaired, could you give us a brief introduction to the theme of the session? Sure. So I would say that uh, uh, the robust design session uh, is one of those uh, that really represents the E of ICID, meaning that it is uh, rooted into the engineering aspects uh, of uh, uh, the design community. Uh, and in this case, specifically, the focus is on engineering aspects of product development to ensure quality and robustness of products. Um, we have a special interest group in the design society dedicated to robust design and not surprisingly, the session was uh, largely driven by members of this special interest group, of course, uh, uh, involving also other authors. Uh, and uh, well, I would say it was uh, quite uh, um, interactive uh, after the presentation uh, by the authors. Uh, with a good discussion between participants and others, uh, also with representatives from industry. And I would say, again, not surprisingly, since uh, this topic seems to be very attractive for, for industry. Great. Uh, that sounds really, really exciting. Uh, so obviously you've attended the, the session. And so based on that, what are your reflections and looking at the discussions you've had during that session? Is there something that you would like that you like to bring and discuss? Well, uh, sure. Um, I, um, in general, I would recommend to check all the papers of the session because, again, uh, it was very interesting uh, uh, with all uh, papers that attract uh, questions and discussions. But among the others, well, I would recommend a few. Uh, one uh, was the paper proposed by the leaders of the special interest group uh, on the uh, importance of design research for achieving product robustness. Uh, this is a, a review paper, uh, so with a, an overview of uh, papers published in our community in previous editions of ICED and the design conference with a quite uh, clear classification of uh, topics uh, covered so far uh, in, in this field uh, by our uh, community and directions for further study. So I think that this would be interesting both for more expert people or for people who want to approach uh, this, uh, uh, this topic to, to know a bit more uh, with a, uh, I mean a very efficient uh, startup. Um, another uh, just to, to go also into less expected uh, topic, I would recommend uh, a paper from Herlangen uh, team um, where they also um, presented uh, the introduction uh, in uh, robust design application of natural language processing technology. Now, natural language processing technology is well-established technologies in many fields, but to my knowledge, is uh, quite new in, in this application. And specifically, they are uh, using uh, uh, this technology to uh, make uh, the analysis of uh, large specification documents more efficient and to uh, also check possible inconsistencies, or by the way, to, to automatically track all the requirements in a, in a document. So uh, very, very interesting. Uh, but again, uh, another paper that I, I remember uh, attracted my attention was about the systematic identification of uh, disturbance factors which is compared to maybe more established uh, techniques and methods uh, seems to be very promising, especially when you are dealing with new technologies. So when you are facing a radical shift there, it is uh, quite complicated to um, identify what might be uh, factors that uh, imply possible failures uh, and so um, lack of uh, robustness. 
And uh, this uh, paper shows a, a very promising approach to uh, systematically check possible uh, disturbance factors that might make the system behave in an undesired way. Great, uh, that was quite a clear and comprehensive uh, summary of the session. But Great. yes, uh, that was that. Uh, I would wish you have a wonderful uh, remaining ISET and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, thank you for the organization.